In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily color grade your photos in Photoshop 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Silvia and in this channel I talk about photography, especially high-end retouching techniques. But now let's go to the video. One of the ways a photographer can get more and better clients, the ones that will pay you more and actually love your photography, is by having a photo identity. There are many things that involves creating a photo identity, but one step that will definitely help you to get there, and it's a must for me, is working on your colors in the post-production. I'm going to show you an easy and simple way you can color grade your photos so you can create a color identity to your work. When you do that, the clients will understand that you have a style in your photos, so they will want to book a photo session with you because of your style more than because of how much you charge for the photo shoot or if you're the cheapest one around. And the way that we are going to do this color grading is by using a gradient map. You're going to see how easy it is and how you can just apply this to every photo shoot that you do. So for us to start, I'm going to show you how you can create the color grade with the gradient tool. You're going to go into filter here and you're going to click in the gradient map. Right now, you're going to see that your photo already has a color. Let's just say that I want this color here. Of course, that when you look at the photo, everything is pink and you don't really want this. You're going to change the blending mode. I really like the soft light. However, I do not like to use in 100% of opacity because it gets too strong. And it's right now, it's actually not being very good for the photo. It's kind of a weird tone. So I would just reduce the opacity. I like to reduce to zero and actually increase little by little. And you're going to see that in your photo, you're going to have this light pinkish um, color in your photo. So here's the before and here's the after. So the idea of creating um, color for you, for your identity in your photos, is to know what colors do you like? How is your style? Do you have more vivid, very intense colors? Or do you have more something that it's more neutral colors? I do really love more neutral colors. And in my photography, it goes more to the brown range of colors. So I'm going to show you the one that I do for my photo. So I'm going to go back here to the colors. I'm going to give this 100%. I'm going to go back the blending mode for normals just so we can see the colors. And the ones that I like to do, I, I already create. Um, it's like more skin tones of color. So this is the one that I like to use the most. And right now I'm going to change the blend mode for to soft light. And I'm going to reduce the opacity to zero. And little by little, I'm going to start increasing this opacity. I normally like to live in 30%, but now let me just show you how you can actually create the color. So let's go back here to the gradient map. And let's say that you want to do the more cinematic feel that it's a little bit bluish to the dark areas and a little bit more orange yellowish to the bright areas. So I'm going to just create, I'm going to start this layer all over again so we can do all together. So I'm going to click here. Oops. And normally when you start this layer, this tool, you're going to see just like two points, one in the brightest side and another one on the darker side. So you just need to click colors and it's going to pop up the color. So you just need to choose the color. So right now let's go to the blue and a little bit more cyan. Maybe here, I'm going to choose a dark blue. Okay. And I'm going to hit OK. And on the bright side, I'm going to choose this orange, more yellowish tones. And I'm going to choose a bright color because again, if I try to choose something that's very dark and intense, my photo will not have a lot of contrast and I still want to work with the contrast as well. So I'm working colors and luminosity. 
so let's let's change let's choose something that it's kind of intense let me I think a little bit more orange I think here is good I'm gonna choose because we are in the bright side I'm gonna choose something that it doesn't have a lot of the tone and the color but something that still has some color I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna create another range here of color you can just click that this square with the arrow will be created and now I'm gonna go and add a little bit of the orange a little bit more color but still still like a little bit bright color okay I'm gonna hit OK and I think that that's good you can create as many as you want so I'm gonna just leave like three here I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna change the blending mode to soft light and we already changed the whole feel of the photo so I'm gonna reduce the opacity to zero and now I'm gonna start to increase this opacity I think here's good and now we have more of this orange yellow tones towards the brightest side and more of the bluish colors to the shadows which is more of a cinematic look and you can just reply this for every photo that you do so right now I'm gonna do a completely um, editing in this photo and add the um, color grade so you can see in the end how it looks I'm gonna do really fast because the purpose of this video is actually just show you how you can do a color grade using gradient map So I have done a really quick retouch to this photo and now I'm gonna create from zero the color grading that I like to do for my photos and my photo identity. So I'm gonna create a gradient map and I'm gonna change the colors here. I'm gonna choose something that's a little bit more brown and it's not white but light brown. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna choose a darker brown now and I like to have a little bit more control of the change and work with the luminosity as well so I like to add a little bit more colors and points of ranging of colors and light so I'm gonna here I'm gonna create another lighter color but that has a little bit more intensity than the first color. And I'm gonna try to create a range. And if you see, I'm changing her face, the, the luminosity on her face, so it changed her contours, it changed everything on her face. So I kind of wanna try to see what I like of the color and I can drag this to see where I want to um, reach on her and I'm gonna do one more for this one I'm gonna do even darker and less of a 
color saturation So I think this is a beautiful, beautiful color um, for my identity. Now I want to save this. I really like this one that I just created with you guys. So I'm going to name this. For me, I'm going to name Skin 6. And I'm actually going to create a new. And you're going to see that it's going to show up right here. I like to put on my folder. So I'm just dragging to the folder skin. I'm going to let it go. And it's right here. It's very similar already to the ones that I that I created before, but you can create your own gradient and you can save it. And it's very easy for you to use something that you already saved. So I'm going to hit OK. I think this looks beautiful. I'm going to change this for soft light and you can see already how difference that is causing in my photo. Of course that I'm not going to use 100%, so I'm going to go lower in opacity and I'm going to just start going up and you can see what's working on your photo, giving more contrast, giving a little bit more color. So um, for this one, I'm going to do, I think, 40%. And here's the before and here's the after. Now let's see the before and after with everything retouched. So here's the before and here's the after. Click the like button if you like the results. Now you know how to color grade your work, which will give your photos a certain style and identity. And this is important if you want to get more and better clients. If you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video somewhere here on the screen. And also hit the subscribe button so you know when there are new videos coming now. I posting videos every week. Well, for this video, this is all. Until next time.